people ask us how we're doing, I tell them our cup is full and we're drinking from our saucer because our cup has overflown with blessings. And really, we all have a lot of them. This is just to remind you of some that you have. The following is something to ponder. If you woke up this morning with more health than illness, you are more blessed than a million who will not survive this week. There's a lot of sick people. If you have never experienced the danger of battle, the loneliness of imprisonment, the agony of torture, or the pangs of starvation, you are ahead of 500 million people in this world. How blessed we are. If you can attend church meeting without fear of harassment, arrest, torture, or death, you are more blessed than 3 billion people in the world. If you have food in the refrigerator, clothes on your back, a roof overhead, and a place to sleep, you are richer than 75% of the world. If you have money in the bank, in your wallet, and spare change in a dish someplace, you are among the top 8% of the world's wealthy. If your parents are still alive, and still married, you are rare, even in the United States and Canada. If you hold up your head with a smile on your face and are truly thankful, you are blessed because the majority can, but most do not. If you hold someone else's hand, hug them, or even touch them on the shoulder, you are blessed because you can offer healing touch. If you can read this message, if you can read, you just received a double blessing in that someone was thinking of you when he wrote it. And furthermore, you are more blessed than over 2 billion people in the world that cannot read at all. I tell you, our cup does run over. God bless you.